Welcome back to another training vlog. This is around a week after uh, the last one you, you saw from me. Today is a B session, so there's basically two sessions just being rotated in and out. Uh, the first one you saw last time was some deadlifts, or some box jumps, some deadlifts, some strict presses, some kind of back extensions on the GHD, some sit-ups, some general core work, and some kind of heavy cheetah rows. Today is slightly different, very much still on the same line, just looking for that same thing of maintaining a bit of muscle mass as I'm kind of cutting weight leading up to this jiu-jitsu competition. Uh, today is actually going to have some power cleans in there, just because I like doing power cleans. And yeah, that's that's what the session will be. In terms of how the, the general flow of training is going at the moment, uh, so last week, I did uh, like a lot of sport specific stuff. So did you uh, jiu jitsu every day basically? Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of rolling. And uh, now not all those have have like uh, competitive rolling in them. Uh, Wednesday session and Saturday session are very much technique based. So I'm actually going to put in recorded some of the session on Saturday. Uh, this session is with Rambo, so Rambo is uh, is our kind of junior up and coming sponsored athlete at Sika Strength. So Rambo is helping us out a huge amount. Uh, Galeria is our our coach, and then Rambo is is like our assistant coach. So he does a lot of our technique stuff with us. So it's really really valuable for us to be able to go into the gym on like a Wednesday and on a Saturday have a bit of break in between kind of live rolling and do like just more technique stuff this session they tend to focus on like things that we're going to use in this competition uh, that we signed up for uh, so this one there's a fair bit of throws there's some stuff of just like side control and just general things we need to work on uh, so it's very very useful and I hope you enjoy the footage doesn't matter if I have the open up but as long as I have the hands and the knees, the elbow up on my knee, because you're coming up to lift the shin across. That's where you're going to go. So ideally, you want to knee from the floor straight to the body. You're not coming off at any point. You want to keep hands Yeah. And I'm not going this way. See, my leg gets caught there straight away. Okay. So you can hang the And then I'm coming up this way. So stop there now. See there, you can touch. Yeah, stop there, stop there. See you. This. Knee comes up. There, I'm going to check the leg. There, I'm the leg. There, I'm Like your leg literally travels along his crotch there and on his yeah, yeah, so yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Up here. Yep. So, 
here, here. This is what directs you. Yes. Of course, those smash. So I'm going down. I know. Back up. What are we going to be doing today? Well, today is Tuesday evening. Uh, we've we trained this morning, uh, so a lot of technique work and then some live live rolling afterwards just for a few rounds. Small bit beat up, small bit sore. Uh, my nose got a bit of an elbowing this morning. Gurf is obviously injured, as you know, so uh, it wasn't Gurf did it to me this time. Today, this is uh, like one of two two-a-days I do a week. To be honest, I prefer not to be doing a two-a-day, but it works out better. I can record a vlog. If I was to train tomorrow, I'd be training in a commercial gym and it's just a lot easier to do it up here because obviously I can't record this stuff with you guys here or else it'd look very, very strange. Uh, and yeah, today is gonna take just less than an hour. It's around nine o'clock at the moment. Once again, we're training later in the evening. I know in the last video, you guys were asking quite a lot about uh, kind of like sleep when you're training late at night. Uh, most of your training sessions will be going later on into the evening. How do I find that like affects recovery? It absolutely affects recovery. Uh, and that's one of the big kind of issues at the moment if I was to have an issue with training would be Monday evenings and Friday evenings. Uh, we train eight until around 10 o'clock. Most of the time it is 10 o'clock. Uh, and then like with the distance I live to the gym, I get home at kind of like half 10, quarter to 11. And then it's just very late, particularly for those sessions because it's quite a lot of live grappling. Uh, I just tend to be very kind of like amped up when I get home at night. So definitely my sleep quality has gone down fairly significantly. The most difficult turnarounds are between the Monday evening session and the Tuesday morning session. So uh, the morning sessions don't kick off until 9 a.m. But still, it's kind of good old drive to the gym. Uh, so leaving home at around the normal time I'd leave home for work or maybe a small bit earlier, but you just have like a very condensed window in between a jiu-jitsu session and the second jiu-jitsu session. Uh, unfortunately, our uh, Rambo coach has been injured today, so we don't have a technique session in the morning. So I do get a bit of extra recovery in before Thursday evening session or Thursday morning session again. So I hope you enjoy this. If you have questions or if there's stuff I'm doing that you're wondering why I'm doing or if there's things you think that I could be doing better, anything along those lines, pop them into the comments. Uh, there's a lot of really good comments on the last video. The questions about sleep and stuff are very, very interesting because uh, undoubtedly you guys will have questions that I've never even thought of. Uh, so hope you enjoy and we'll talk to you all again soon. Come here. Seiko.
I know you're all thinking, Dara, wouldn't I get a better training effect from doing deadlifts? Or wouldn't you get a better training effect? And the answer is yes. But I don't want to do deadlifts. I know you're saying, oh Dara, it looks like those 15 kilo plates in the back moved and that you actually loaded 140 and missed it a few times because you're being dumb and not listening to what you had written out for yourself to do in training. But that didn't happen, right? Uh, so, power cleans are done. It's seven or eight singles at 110. Look, there's more productive things I could have been doing, but I really didn't want to. Now we're gonna get into the, the kind of strength training piece. We're gonna start off with floor press. This floor press, I'm not gonna superset it with anything because I wanna go quite heavy on it. So if I was to superset it with something else, I'd just be taking a small bit of the emphasis off. It's not massive, um, but I would prefer just to be able to, to concentrate on kind of like making sure I hit the weights the way I want to hit them and all that good stuff. So let's go do some floor press. Jeez, my nose took a battering. I'm actually waiting on an operation for my nose and it takes another elbow today. Great. Uh, setup I'm using for bent over rows it's not really to be like specific for grabbing someone's gi or like grabbing a piece of rope it's just a very very simple way of like doing heavy cheater bent over dumbbell rows without a heavy dumbbell uh, so these are what are these like 45 kilos uh, most people to be fair wouldn't have like a 45 kilo dumbbell in their home gym setup this is a nice easy way of getting like a very very similar effect Granted, the grip strength on the piece of carpet might not uh, be the easiest, but it's no harm to get a bit of extra training in there either. Standard dips on the GHD, just nice and easy. One possible extra challenge of these is having to keep your, your heels and your knees pulled up a small bit higher, just because uh, basically my legs will be hitting the ground or my knees are nearly hitting the ground on those. Uh, so a bit of extra anterior core work is always good. 
one thing if you are doing these uh, bent over rows just be careful not to take the, the tips of your toes off when you're doing them by far my favourite exercise in the entire world is a cheater single arm row uh, I just think they're very very effective for almost everyone whether you're like a field sports athlete whether you're combat sport athlete weightlifter powerlifter everyone needs to have a nice strong upper back uh, bodybuilders obviously want to have bigger arms the standard being on your phone texting during a session these are just normal elbow planks just sped up the middle piece this is actually me muttering to myself uh, as I'm training kind of <laughs> just sorting out all the issues that, that are going on in my own brain as I'm training. Uh, the glory of making YouTube videos and training is that I try not to have music on because uh, it gets flagged almost immediately and it's just annoying um, for copyright and all those things. So this is, I think, six sets of 60 seconds on the plank. In the last few sets of planks, for like the last 20 or 30 seconds, I try and just squeeze as aggressively as I possibly can. Uh, so you might see it towards the end of this one, just like uh, pulling my elbows back, like in an isometric way, pulling my elbows back, tightening my lats, squeezing my glutes as much as I possibly can. Just get the most out of it. Very last exercise then is just some kind of simple anterior core work it's definitely a weaker part of of my jiu-jitsu game is keeping my legs up in front so if i've been pushed down to the ground just getting my legs up in kind of like a guard or just moving my legs around in general uh, having long heavy legs isn't really ideal for being agile in those cases and these uh these should hopefully help the shed is an absolute disgrace as well so there's a lot of projects ongoing at the moment uh, so there's a hell of a lot of sawdust and dust around the place, but it works. Thanks very much for watching another training vlog. If you have questions, if you have comments, if you want to just talk shit on my training, drop them in the comments down below. We'd also really appreciate everyone who likes the video, who likes other people's comments, subscribes, all that stuff is great. And we'll uh, talk to you soon.